Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> All right. Hi. We're at Theta. And uh, what was the whole, we need to get a, uh, a thing that can get us to the bottom of the trench. Which I didn't know we had to get to the bottom of the trench because there's an arc, the arc's down there? Like it fell off the cliff? I guess so. Like, isn't the plan to still get the Ark into the rocket? Yeah. And get off this planet? Yeah. So I didn't remember I didn't remember the story revealing that... <laughs> I think she just revealed it on the trip over, right? Did she? Because I didn't remember that edge? either. Because I thought that the radar identified that it was just at a station, not off the edge. Hmm. You guys know? The arc and the space gun fell off. Arc is at Tau, which is in the abyss. Oh, so it was built down there. Need to get a thing to get down there. So not only did they need the rail gun to be underwater, they wanted it had to be deep underwater in order to work. Wonder if there's any like science behind the fiction that a rail gun would only be feasible underwater. Rail guns are typically are like high velocity magnetically propulsion magnetic propulsion and I don't know why like they said that the reason it's underwater is to deal with the likelihood of combustion due to the high heat involved okay and accelerating physical matter through that kind of magnetic force mm-hmm um, yeah magnets magnets and shit I just wonder if that's like a scientifically accepted thing that rail guns are not feasible because of the heat issue. Hmm. It would be easier to suspend a large tube like that in water rather than building a 10 kilometer high tower. I'd assume the length and force required would be dampened by being underwater. But wouldn't the force that requires so much more force because it's underwater to yeah. get it past the water, like the density? You'd think like the two, the benefits would be offset by the challenges. I don't know. I'm sure it has some scientific theory basis. Like they didn't just make it up, but. You're on this side of the sign now. Yeah, I'm kind of purposefully just covering all my angles here. I don't want to get disoriented again. Okay. I want to make sure that I've hit everything and everywhere. I don't want to miss anything. Went over there. I don't know sci-fi either. Just, it's... just follow a science blog. No, it... I, like, actively... Kind of turn my brain off when it gets sci-fi. Uh -huh. Like I just don't even want to try. Is this uh, where you say I'm just a girl? No, because <laughs> there's lots of girls that like yeah. sci-fi. I'm just a sci-fi girl. Uh, who is this? Catherine? I'm busy working. Oh, really? Okay. Just wanted to say thank you for what you did. Don't worry about it. But you should stand up for yourself. I mean, Strohmeyer doesn't have that kind of authority. You could just tell him to go fuck himself. Oh, I just don't. I'm not that kind of a person. You can't expect people to fight for you all the time. You're a brilliant person, Kath. You're so smart it makes my head spin. But sometimes you just oh. disappear into yourself. Suddenly it's like talking to a fucking five-year-old. It's just hard. I can't just be more like that. Everyone would know I'm pretending. It's not too late to win people over. Strasky likes you. I like you. Reed likes you. Strasky likes everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Wait, you think Reed likes me? Catherine, a lot of people like you. You just need to open up a little. Be more approachable. Can I get back to work now? I'd rather not be reprimanded twice in one day. Okay, see you back inside. Over and out. Is that the Catherine inside our chip talking? She was yeah. like shy? Yeah. 
brilliant but unable to stand up for herself but now she seems pretty forceful and like a different person the one that we've gotten now yeah uh maybe it's a different version of her what is the girl's name in the shorts do you guys know oh because if they're connected and what's the guy's name i'd like to know if they're connected to the story if we're hearing amy? them amy my sister's girlfriend's name is kathy and i call her kath all the time and her full name is Catherine, so. Oh, Reed. Is it Reed? Reed is the girl or the guy from the shorts? The girl? I don't want to know the actor's name. This thing on? Can everyone hear me? Go ahead, Strop. Listen up, all members of staff. The art project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. I'm not going to pretend I understand what the hell Sarang talked about and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. For the fucking love of God, or whatever you think is important, don't kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace. Wally. Good? Beautiful, sir. Uh, all right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. So Reed is the girl in the shorts. So Catherine, judging from her voice and reaction, had a thing for Reed. Sounds like it. A crush. And then who's the, what's the guy's name? In the shorts. Thank you, Catherine. Wait. Here. You have a sphincter I need in. <laughs> I don't understand. Um, lady? Ugh. Shit. Hello? Who is that? Mark? No, we haven't met before. Is this Mark? I think we're safe. Oh. I was so worried something had gone wrong. What's your name? Robin Bass. Theta Field Service Technician. Nice to meet you, Robin. Uh, Robin was mentioned in that last recording, right? But I don't think we've heard her referred to before now. How did you get here? I got scanned, like the others. And then I killed myself. At least I think so. I can't remember that part. How does that work? Did dying get you into the Ark? Well, you're definitely not from Theta. Let me guess, Omicron? Wasn't sure Catherine would be able to scan you guys. You're lucky. There was a lot of talk about this at Theta. The idea is, when you're activated in the Ark, there's basically two of you, right? One human, one living skin in the Ark. You don't want your copy to survive you. You yourself want to survive on the Ark. If the human you dies before the scan is initiated, or closely after, you yourself would live on in the Ark. Amazing, right? Why can't both of you exist? I don't know. Did Catherine put you up to this? Killing yourself? Catherine Chun? <laughs> no. I don't think you understand. She just did scans and put them into the Ark. I hope I get to meet her soon so I can apologize. She always got into trouble with Strawmeyer when someone killed themselves. I think she's okay with it. Where is everyone? I thought there would be like 40 or 50 people here. I don't know. Uh, I'll let you know if I see anyone. She thinks she's on the Ark? Mm-hmm. So what happened was people got put into the Ark and then somehow their consciousness was leaked out into the general system. They got inside the utility robots and then they killed themselves Is in the physical world. Like? Yeah. That's how everything went wrong. Because they thought in their one-track mind of survival that they had to kill themselves. So they could live forever. I expected something different. Robin. I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? I mean the Ark. Yeah, it's great. 
Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. See you later. Will do. I'll be going now. Let me know if you find anyone else. You good? I think so. I feel fine. Yeah, that's... Oh, is she not going to like this? I, I don't... Just, I probably have to, don't I? I'm not the only one who got scanned. And what's happening is this thing... Mark. Hello? ...is keeping them all alive, too. Uh-huh. Which is the Tau? Or what was the name of the... I think Tau is... The... What... The wow, wow, wow. There was a name for something that was like W A U, warden unit. The warden unit that was tasked or programmed to mindlessly just keep them all alive, and so that's why all these machines still exist. They're all jacked in to just be kept on life support, but it's keeping both humans and robots alive alike. You didn't want to try to pull it out. I might. I'm just not going to play the asshole right now. I'm okay. actually invested in the story, so I'm not doing this pure for fresh entertainment here. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, there's a buzz for a moment. It's gone now, though. Okay. Okay. Hmm, okay. So Catherine herself said that there could be a a Catherine that's alive somewhere. She and Simon are just copies. Those cultist people that killed themselves believe that you shouldn't outlive your copy to be continuous. They were cultists? What made the them cultists? The ones that killed themselves. So that they just sprung up uh, like upon arriving in the Ark? Oh, what do we got here? Strasky, wake up Dr. Masters. We're bringing in acres. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. Jesus Christ. He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The well shirt and the number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait, where are Kumaravi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. I can't do this on my own. Ground the other side. Stress, ready or not, we're coming in. All right, see you soon. Hmm. What I just don't understand about the that movement, that idea that you're you shouldn't live out digital you, if you want digital you to be continuous, as they're saying, mm -hmm. what does it matter? <laughs> they're not going to outlive you. You're digital. Yeah. So just let the fucking person die Live on his own. He's in an organism. 40 years or <laughs> let 80 him, years. Let or... him die on his own. Yeah. Or is the idea that if you don't kill him right away, maybe the idea was that like, if you scan yourself and you're like, this is going to make me eternal, this is awesome. The bad thing is, you getting scanned is going to be like, oh, the scan's done. I'm not in there. So the idea was that, like, you're prom making a promise to yourself to kill yourself right after so that you will be in there. And not out on this side. It's kind of a weird thing to think of, eh? Yeah. Which one are you going to be? The one who ends up in there, or the one who just started the scan? Huh. Oh god. I hope we don't have to kill her. But I really wanted that sphincter.
So I don't need to kill that one. Nice. The Dunbat. The Dunbat. Whoa, that still can record? Oh, I don't think that's... Uh, I don't know. Hello? Anyone there? Well, Catherine, we found Theta. I want to do a test here and see if the frame rate issue clears up when I take us out. It does. All right, so the culprit is the second capture card I'm using. That's unfortunate. Mm. That might clear up in about 10 days when I ha get my new one from eBay. <laughs> hmm? Smashy, smashy. Right? Smash that window? Oh, you think the cracked one? Yeah, maybe. Not heavy enough? Try the door. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Way more fun that way. Yeah. Is there anything else in here? I don't think I can do any of that. Just remembering how to do that. Good idea. Oh man, do you think he can eat? Do you think he can taste? Probably. It's in his well, memory. Well, like I was about to say before, being a, a robot, there's no end to the things you can feel. Yeah. You could just program something to taste like something. Yeah. Because like, I'd like to eat this now, and then you like bring it into existence. I would like yeah. tin cans to taste like steak, please. Hmm. He did say he has no mouth. And I was also going to say earlier, if you're immortal, uh -huh. you could spend lifetimes doing so many different things. You could become a composer. Yeah. Then you could, I don't know, fucking what else you'd do. <laughs> <laughs> Composer is the extent of what you can think of. Become an artist. <laughs> Become... A doctor. A doctor. Yeah. You get tired after a while, though. Yeah. We're here. We're here. Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the done that. You guys sure have a lot of machines and vehicles down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, 
What's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air, good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a pro, fueled by solar panels, it can survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat! Ah, oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold on. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm, sure. Let's go with that. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Um... One of the things that makes me, like, think that, like, they gave us a clue that this isn't really her is that she's supposed to be timid, not forceful, this type of personality. It makes me think somebody's just taken on her visage and is pretending to be her mm. to convince everybody to help her. But on the other hand, that doesn't wash because she was apprehensive and didn't even really feel like getting to the Ark. So it was almost us who convinced yeah. her to go with this. So she's not, she couldn't be playing us because otherwise we could have been like, okay. Yeah. We need to find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Find someone who knows the security cipher. Find someone who knows the security cipher. Fine. It is possible that she wants you to think that, but... But again, that could have backfired with a simple piece of dialogue and me walking away. Yeah. It's just not the r worth the risk. If the story does take a turn like that, I'll be like, huh, risky. Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of silly of her. Turned on the lights over here, but there's nothing I can do. The copy developed differently than her real self? That's possible. That it changes you when you get in there. Maybe we'll meet the real Catherine. Uh -huh. This is why I like sci-fi more than fantasy. Okay. Because it could really happen. That's what's so cool about yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Fantasy, it's like, okay, yeah, I guess that's cool, but eh. I won't so get to do this till I get the Omni tool back. I need to go okay. elsewhere. Well. What flavor do you like? That flavor. This one? Yep. It looks all curvy. Let me just close this one. <laughs> Thanks, Drummer. That's a real helpful report. Be quiet, the proxy listens. What happened to Theta? No explanations anywhere. Kind of sounds like a warning. Hmm. That sounds like something. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, great. I Same can't point. wait for VR headsets in games like this, even if you're not using your head to look around. I just want peripheral vision. Yeah. I think that'll change so many games, just to yeah, have peripheral be vision. Because cool. it hurts your spatial awareness so much to always just be like yanking your head around like this, like in the yeah. game. Where do you think that sounds coming from?
Hmm, yeah, this one. Lots of nothing. It's perfect. I'm gonna leave this open, ready to hide in. Okay. There we go. Oh, you're a dude. Can I kill you? You're fucking up my circuits, bro. to kill all of them. Yo, what's that? Nothing. I want to kill them to save them. I just had a slight bit of glitchy vision there. Uh oh. Something's in here. It's to your, it's behind you. No. <laughs> what do you got here? There's a dude down there. See? Is there he goes. running from us? Oh no! Did he fucking disappear? No, he went that way to the right. Okay. Go. There's cords everywhere. everywhere. One's the fucking router. 
This yellow cord goes under then up into this. This would be the router. Oh, it has tons of cords. Everywhere. Shit. Where the fuck is it? I don't see shadows, so it can't be... Shit. I nudged that. Where the fuck are you? be um, really nice to have stereo. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I see something over there. Dude. Are you a router? Then fuck you! I'm assuming that Psy meant no. Okay, mm -hmm. so we can't do anything right now, router wise, apparently. I don't know if we needed that information. We're playing the game. We're figuring things out on our own. Okay. We didn't ask for help. I wasn't sure if that was going to be helpful. Since helpful in the we wrong place. We didn't get frustrated yet. We're playing yeah. the game. Oh, fucker. He kind of. He doesn't be able to seem to run. Yeah. If You're kind of testing me. your yeah. limits. Is there a map somewhere? Um, I think like there was. Was it upstairs? Is that a door right there? Underneath the stairs? Fuck no! You can use... Go! No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
Who would have expected him to be able to use buttons? Not me. I mean, those those guys on the ship couldn't even use sliding doors. Yeah, man. Well, I think that's kind of silly. I'd shut the door now. Yeah. Well, he can open it. I know, but still, we'll know he's there. I think that's kind of silly that there's no indicator to the human, to, to the player, that it's time to leave this floor. Yeah. Because you could spend like a good half hour there just frustratedly looking around. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. <laughs> what happened to all the people? This place looks deserted. So far. Well, there's it that doesn't make dude. any sense. Theta is clearly the best option for survival. Well, they survived, thanks to Tau or whatever it was. Wow. Well, Lots of yeah. them are surviving. Yeah. Left. Yeah, there should have been, um... Where the hell did they all go? If Theta is out of the picture, where would you go? So not only did somebody give us an unsolicited tip, it was wrong. You could reset the router. Seriously? All right, we're gonna start getting, we're gonna start putting the foot down on unsolicited Probably tips. Lambda or well, we've seen Lambda already. So maybe Omicron. The lights are all on. How can it be scary? But where are you going to find anyone? Maybe they all helped out with the ark. To carry it to town? Well, it seems excessive, but not out of the question. Mm. I don't know what I want. I'd keep it open so we know it's the exit. <gasps> it's our Buddha that you broke! <laughs> Twice now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's us. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Send that clip to the creators of the game. You guys did it. You got one invested person of the story here. Mirrors don't usually work. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, shit. <laughs> oh, you're so lame. Oh. <laughs> Official. Becky's afraid of her own shadow. It's my reflection. God. <laughs> Are the ciphers in here? Ciphers? <laughs> no, I didn't get Fraser at all with my jump. Oh, no. Sweet. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, it was a good attempt at scaring Fraser. Thanks, Wacky Whitney. Uh. That's it. Not even scary. Not even scared. That was weird.
Aw, you're so <laughs> pretty. Did I get you? No. Oh. There's a loud one, though. No. I just gotta. Yeah. We don't even have to collect shit in this, and you're still checking it all. P A R T Y? Because I gotta. Okay. I'll never question you again. Do not go in there. Sweet. I got some of the chat. See, there's uh, an instance where aliasing actually hurts gameplay. That little bit of aliasing there, I don't know if after YouTube compression you're going to be able to see this. But that oh. almost, to me, looked like glitching and I thought that an enemy was present. Oh. I hate aliasing. Oh fuck dude, don't go down there. It's all kinds of death. What's that glowy thing on the table? Oh, a stone? Stone head. Hedge. Right? No. <laughs> oh. Uh, they see a tower. from down there. Oh, I don't like that. Maybe some, but like, I mean, we, she said find someone who knows the pass. Yeah. Why were these all locked? Were they locked purposefully into their chambers? I don't know. Eighteen Mazer tool safety. He was just working on something. You can turn the lights on properly. That's our Catherine. We'll be back as we check out this room after the break. Stay tuned. Video Games Awesome Live continues. <laughs> 